So here's what a installed uh, poly cutter, uh, basic poly panel looks like the way I'm doing it. Now, keep in mind, there's various ways that you can cover your dome. You can cover it with glass. You can cover it with uh, acrylic. Those are very expensive ways. So you can just go with very uh, standard 6 mil poly and just use a staple gun to staple it down. A lot of people are actually doing it that way, but it's not very professional. I wanted to do it really nicely, so we're using this technique. We basically uh, got this material, which I mentioned in an ebook called Poly Ketter, and we cut it to the right size triangles to fit in the triangle or spaces here. And I'll tell you a little more about how I did that exactly. That's a process in and by itself. And then to attach it, it's really quite simple. And uh, depending on how much money you, you have available, you can make it really thorough or less, uh, less thorough. This is double sided carpet tape. Very simple stuff. Yeah, you can pick it up for about 10 bucks a roll. You basically line the carpet tape along the edge of the triangle, as you can see here, and you can stick the poly triangular piece on right away. And uh, I know tape doesn't sound very strong, but carpet tape is very strong. This panel has been on here for about uh, four weeks, and it's been through hurricane weather. I'm not kidding. It's been like really, really windy, 90 knots in some days, and rain and hail, and it's still on here. I mean, I can even push against it with my entire body weight, and it's not going anywhere. So it's really strong. Um, so we're just putting carpet tape on there, and uh, all you have to do after that is if you have these two uh, panels joining together, cover that with your choice of, um, there's very a, a number of different types of tapes you, you can use for water, to make it water resistant or waterproof. Uh, the tape I recommend is called hurricane tape, I'll show you a roll of that in a second. And after you tape it down, what you do, well you have many options, but this is what we're going to do, is you simply take these are called furring strips, and you put the furring strips on to the joint. Imagine if you had another panel here, you just put the furring strip on along the, along the way of the joint. You can get these strips in a six foot lens from Home Depot or Rona or whatever uh, hardware store you have accessible. And if you don't have something accessible, then you know, get creative. Uh, I'm sure there's <laughs> many ways to do this. And then just screw this down with washers and basic wood screws. And it, would, it will add a, a really nice finish to this technique. So you'll still keep the geometry of, of the dome on the outside look really, really nice. Um, you might not even need to do that. I mean, that's going way overboard. This tape, again, is so strong. If you just tape it down with this tape and put some other tape down, that would last you probably a few years. And